This comedian coming to the stage right now is a very, very lovely lady. I want you to put your hands together right now. A huge round of applause right now for Alexa Mendez! driving in Puerto Rico. I read this crazy statistic that Puerto Ricans spend 32 days a year sitting in traffic. 32 days a year. That's a long time. But you know it can't be true. Because if it were, everybody would be missing their tires. <laughs> Although driving in Puerto Rico is a serious risk to your health, my mom's probably one of the safest drivers out there. She always uses her turn signals, lets people in in front of her. She even goes to speed limit. But I've always thought she's the best. Because every time someone passes by us, they say she's number one. <laughs> people like to think that Puerto Rican drivers are crazy. Me, I like to think of them as being creative. They create things when they exist. The traffic signs are merely suggestions. And traffic lights, they take on a whole new meaning. Yellow means speed up, red means floor it, and green means stop. Someone might be coming from the other direction. Oh, and black means you've been hit. Growing up in Puerto Rico, I lived a pretty sheltered life. I didn't go out much, didn't have many friends, and this was before the internet, so needless to say, I was completely unprepared when I got to college. After a night on the town, my friends and I decided to go back to my dorm room. We were hanging out, drinking, cracking jokes, when one of them says to me, Hey, you got a bowl? And I said, Do I? <laughs> me being the super cool girl that I am, I busted out my corny wear. <laughs> <laughs> After a few years of many incidents like that, I thought everything was so when my friend was telling me about a recent trip to Mexico where he was driving around on E, I said, dude, what are you, crazy? First of all, do you know how dangerous that is? And second, I didn't even know you did drugs. To which he replied, yeah, my tank was empty. <laughs> Speaking of drugs, I worked at Marvel Comics. Now, you know they must have been on something when they came up with some of these characters. There's the obvious ones, like Spider-Man's being squeezed, Mary Jane. But there's some lesser-known characters that were probably created while under the influence. There's Spider-Ham. Someone had munchies for that one. There's Hell Cow, a bloodthirsty vampire cow. I mean, how does that even work? I want to suck your blood. Man. And there's Squirrel Girl, a girl who can control and communicate with squirrels. Ooh. Better hope she doesn't get a grab hold of your nuts. <laughs> it seems like I spent a lifetime at Marvel. While I was there, I got engaged, got married, and I had my son. Now, naming my son wasn't easy. After my husband vetoed naming him Peter Parker, because well, he's then pigeonhole. I decided to stick to something that reflected my Latino roots. But that still wasn't working out because, let's just put it this way, Luis Miguel Einstein! Just because it's not right. <laughs> Have you ever tried figuring out what a toddler is saying? My son just turned two, and I can't understand half the things he's saying. Mostly because he sounds like he's drunk. He'll say, yes, mommy, yes. <laughs> when he says, beach, mommy, beach, I'm not sure if I should smack him or feed him beans. When he says, sheep, mommy, sheep, I'm not sure if he wants me to sit down or take a dump. <laughs> anyway, I've been with my husband for about 10 years, and I always like to remind him about how lucky he is to have me. But secretly, I know I'm lucky too. When we were first dating, I had a colonoscopy. And a few days later, we went on a camping trip. <laughs> That's when I knew he was the one. <laughs> it was really romantic. Watching the sunsets, 
sitting by the fire, looking up at the stars. Then later that night in the tent, well, you know what happened. <laughs> Anybody who sleep with me after that is a keeper. <laughs>